So well, welcome to Tech Beats. First time in English today. Tatiana is our our guest uh, behind the cameras. Our how we did, say, did we say at uh, the podcast jockey, jockey Andreas. And today we are here to let's say present a product which we de developed uh, at Gmail Engineering. And uh, you brought this product to us that we can have somehow some kind of a degustation of food mm -hmm. and it's called CCC. But before we talk about the product, who are you? Uh, well, first of all, thank you so much for, for having, having me today, uh, Michelle and Andreas. It's uh, really thank nice to, to meet you and to actually uh, get closer to the team that also contributed um, to the development. So yeah, I'm Tatiana. At the beginning? Yeah. yeah, at the very early beginning. We were, we were waiting a long time to see the final product. What exactly did you, did you, uh, was your part uh, at that point then? The mechanical design, okay. uh, especially from the parts you don't see mm -hmm. from the outside design. Uh, everything which is moving mm -hmm. and everything which is covered uh, by plastic parts as well as uh, metal parts which uh, below there are maybe motors and electronics and cabling etc I see. and that was, was the challenge to to somehow create a product which suits all the requirements our client has had uh, especially in terms of uh, uh, how can I say that it's like uh, heat mm -hmm. uh, humidity mm -hmm. Uh, and as well safety. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, in general, this this is actually the, the the elements that were crucial to us in order to um, to to drive this um, consistent um, quality among our our yep. product. Um, so we, we are striving to to develop uh, a convenience um, system that is um, caring for quality, and it started indeed with the with the, with this at its core uh, when and, developing and, the system. And I guess as well uh, for for to to be used for non-professional mm -hmm. users. Exactly. Yeah. It has to be super intuitive, super easy, and it's it's, it's also something that we see um, if you can use it a little bit all the time anywhere. Um, yeah. It's uh, it has to have some features like um, cleaning itself uh, yeah. automatically. We saw that today. Yeah. And actually, we we had as, as well an issue. One of our employees tried by himself, mm -hmm. and he put the plate in the wrong place, and the, mm -hmm. the machine just told him, oh, "Sorry, it doesn't work." So he had to replace the the, the food cup, and at the end, uh, we enjoyed especially the different different food types mm -hmm. maybe you can talk about a little bit about what we can experience out from from this device as from the from the user point of view from the client point of view of course um, so you you pointed out something interesting indeed we uh, we have um, a different um, we have ex different type of uh, products uh, from uh, ranging from uh, more um, what we call now original recipes, so uh, pasta, uh, Italian dishes. And then we have felt when we went on the market a few years back that actually there was a need to uh, cater for uh, a little bit more than just uh, pasta. And it would be a pity not to uh, use the power of steam in different um, in different cuisines yeah. as well, because we can do it from a technical Yes, I ate view. quinoa, I ate yeah? uh, rice. So we some tried. Thai flavors, yeah. or Indian flavors, yeah. Exactly. Uh, there is also some uh, some uh, some more uh, butter chicken, some more uh, Oriental uh, flavors. Um, we're looking now at uh, going into also um, Romanian, so something a little bit more out of of the box. Yeah. Um, one of of course of the focus at the moment is to take also into consideration um, the 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 diets. Uh, of um, of people always on the move, uh, we can notice that they are a little bit tired of those um, uh, microwave dishes that yes. tend to uh, Me as well. to be a little bit <laughs> you too, <laughs> a little bit uh, heavy and uh, very similar in a, in a way, um, in a way and the way that ta they taste and sometimes overcooked due to the way they are prepared, and so we are also shifting and looking at. Um, uh, recipes that are maybe vegan, vegetarian, and uh, that are suitable as well yeah. to be reheated. So ap apart from the perfect taste, mm -hmm. from my point of view, and uh, what I heard from the, from the team, it was great. And uh, there, is, there is another part, which I missed now, because you interrupted me. Uh, it's, yeah, it's exactly, the, the preparation. It's mm -hmm. a for me, uh, it's a complete different taste, or at least what I experienced mm -hmm. between microwave food 
and the can I call it steamed food? Yeah. And that's what I experienced. So I guess you you reached your goal, mm -hmm. and that's what that was from the development point of view of our goal. That was uh, early at the beginning, uh, the main focus to prepare mm -hmm. something which is different. Mm -hmm. And what what I'm curious now is uh, which which client or market do you target with Caragusto mm -hmm. um, with this device? So we the, the the actual the the potential in terms of um who we can sell our yeah. products to is or service is our service as well is uh, is really large because actually it is suitable for businesses but mm -hmm. um so as we are as you are so uh like Jimmy, if you don't have uh f for example a, a cafeteria yeah. but you still have actually um a kitchen where in a place where people can yeah. uh, get together the steamer is perfect because you can just put it there and it's super intuitive to and we need to a use. power plug you need a power plug yes that and we need it. to refill the uh, the water the water yes tank. and that's it and that's it yeah. um it's also relevant for um for other types of businesses like uh hotels who for example have um guests coming in 24 hours maybe they have a late check check out or they is, have yeah. um, a late check-in actually even better uh and <laughs> landing from a plane usually yeah, people is. are hungry and they they are looking for something a little bit uh, more um enjoyable than maybe mm -hmm. just a sandwich so with this uh, machine the, the night audit uh, at the reception could just um, basically offer a hot food at the press of a button in 30 seconds Perfect. so you have again this flexibility coming in and you you operate your company uh, from switzerland located mm -hmm. in the east north of switzerland mm -hmm. and where are you at the moment uh, oh, if you're asking this question is that uh, you need to come asap to our offices <laughs> you have some pins on the world map <laughs> uh, we are based um, uh, in switzerland yeah. exactly in amrisville uh, it's uh, in the canton st gallen and um, we are having also our uh, production sites um, around there. Yeah. Um, this of the device. Of so the device. The device itself mm -hmm. is made in Switzerland. Yes, it's, oh. it's made in Switzerland uh, from our partner, uh, Augusta Friesmark. Yeah. They are leaders in um, also in the production of uh, and a lot of other devices. We know them very well. They and, are, yeah. Uh, yeah, you have the chance to uh, work uh, with them. I heard in the past. Uh, Even in the past, yes, but especially with this project. With especially yeah. with this project. Well, they do uh, a lot of um, Nespresso machines, yeah. and that's uh, that's also uh, where the int uh, where where it comes in um, um, when you look at our machine, yeah. how intuitive it is used uh, because we have the the, um, the essential parts uh, being um, which are similar to similar. to beverage machines yeah exactly you have this water tank you have this uh, filter exactly. um, that you have to change maybe once every six months so it's still mm -hmm. very, very and at little. the end it could be exactly the same end customer and client correct yeah. correct it's basically the same type of people looking for conveniency um, and good quality product yeah. At so an affordable price still. so and the at the end from from the Cimelli point of view we're highly looking looking forward to get the new project or the new product mm -hmm. uh, do you can you already talk about something what what's next what, what are you working uh, now at at the moment on on your service or your product mm -hmm. you talked about something about the the bowl mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is there something planned on the on the device yes um, so exactly, uh, uh, as I mentioned, we, we're working on a, on a even more eco-friendly uh, packaging yeah. now, so that will be for the for the bowl. Um, it is uh, also t um, challenging in terms of uh, of um, of the technicalities that goes around uh, p pasteurization yeah. process, but um, it's looking really great. Um, and on the machine, we are looking at. Um, we already have developed um, a machine that works on a regular power outlet. Yeah. Uh, currently, I mean, initially, the machine was working on 430 yes. volts, uh, which give it this um, this speed. Um, yeah. uh, it's around 30 seconds per per bowl. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And when we we, we noticed that the market actually was feeling a need to have this uh, machine in in just any kind of yes, kitchen sometimes with the 230 not, volts yeah exactly not not professional we went down to uh two, sir, and you ended volt. up uh, between one minute per per bowl 45 seconds yeah a little bit better than that uh, hopefully one day we will be able to do better yeah um 
Now, I think in about two, two to three years, uh, we will be looking at um, at um, how at a device that can you can put in your household. Yeah, um, that sounds great. That would be the, the next big step. Yeah, great. Uh, to go directly B two C. Perfect. Mm. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Visiting us, joining us for this experiment. Well, uh, thank you for. That's it. Bye, guys. For Bye. Me. You're the best.